Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crystallis. This is your Everlobo, it's Channel Blade 730. And let's continue to explore through Mount Saber. Yeah, I want to apologize last time for calling this Mount Hydra. That's a whole nother area later in the game. And, you know, I got conf confused because honestly, there's two mounts here. And, you know. anyways, yep, let's kill these spider creatures real quick with our fireball. Get some really good XP. Like I said, trying to heat. Um, explore the rest of Mount Saber, trying to get the tornado bracelet. First things first, I need to actually go back because I kind of passed up where I needed to go. But yeah, remember our main goal here, eventually to get to level 7. And just gain as much money as we can because of the next area we're going to head to. Stuff is starting to gonna start getting really, 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 really expensive. But it's going to get really, 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 really good. So yeah, there's a trick. Anyway. Burn some zombies real quick. And that's always seems like this is always the best way to deal with zombies is to burn them. Unless you're watching um Return of the Um Return of the Living Dead. Then you really don't want to do that. Let's head over here, like, wait up, there's something I'm missing. Let me check my map real quick. Hmm. There's supposed to be a wait a minute. Okay. There's supposed to be a um cave up here. Cave entrance here. Okay, let's go with these zombies and see if I can find out where the heck I'm supposed to go here. I'm looking at my map and it's like, yeah, it's saying there's supposed to be a cave here. Hmm. Maybe it's up here. Okay. Now, see these little ice areas? Now, if you just walk up there, yeah, you'll just come falling down. But if you jump up there with the rabbit boots, there you go. Another use for the rabbit boots. Really, really good item here. I think really it was, that was the um, predecessor for the um, I forgot the name of it, the, but the feather, the rock's feather, and Link's Awakening. But I really don't know which one came out first. I don't know if this or Link's Awakening came first. But I don't know. Anyways, oh crap, forgot. Gotta use our wind sword. Now, I always, I, I did say, um, I was watching somebody and I was like, man, this game would, they would it'd be so good to see like a remake or a redo of this game. Just because, like I said, this game had so much potential. It was so unique. It was like it was like The Legend of Zelda, but like on just it was just faster and just so much more reaction time. And honestly, the first Legend of Zelda, this game had a lot more plot to it. Like man, if they make a remake of this, it would be awesome. But the big thing I wish they would do, if they ever did make a remake, was just make it where it's just a little bit easier to kind of switch between swords, because that is kind of annoying going through the um. The inventory every time you do that. But otherwise, oh man, it'd be amazing. But as you notice up there, we have another ice wall we need to bust down with our firewall. Now you notice there's a little trick right there that um, if you charge up your sword up to like level 1 or level 2 and switch over, it doesn't carry over, so don't try that. But let's get rid of these poison dragons, because the last thing I want to do is get poisoned right now. There we go. Two. Boom. Right. Up here... This chest, we get the Tornado Bracelet! Alright, our first level 3 power-up. Very, very nice. Now, it does cost MP to use, so I'm probably not going to use it too much. But it is essential for dealing with certain enemies in this game. Especially our our first, really, what I call a... um Not really a boss, because we've dealt with bosses before in this game. But this guy's going to be the first kind of, you know, uber boss that we're going to have to deal with. You know, if you want to use that term, loosely. Probably the most difficult boss of the game. But I don't want to spoil too much, so yeah. Let's just continue to make our way up through Mount Saber and see if you can find Tonmel. Show him that, hey, I was good enough. I found the bracelet. Now, are you going to help me out? Now, to get to Tonmel, what we want to do is go down here, go back to the same, actually the same area we just were. I said, that's where I made just a little bit of a mistake here. We're going to go there and get a tornado bracelet first. Because if you go all the way to see Tom Mel and don't have a tornado bracelet, he'll say, Hey, you're supposed to find the tornado bracelet. What are you doing, man? So you have to go all the way back and find the all the way back to Tom Mel. And just, yeah, that happened to me a couple times during my playthrough. So, I remember myself. Hey, Shadow, you're better than this. Don't make that same mistake twice. Come on, man. All right. Let's Creatures. Either an enemy or brain looking creatures. They actually kind of remind me of those annoying little creatures in Final Fantasy 2 that can cast Swap. Ugh, I hate those things. Oh crap. Okay, need our fire sword. Alright. Alright, there we go. 
Yep, three spiders dead. Every time I see them, it just kind of makes me freak out because they have a pallet swap later that is really annoying. And hey, we hit level six. All right, one more level and we're hitting our breakthrough. All right, head up here. Okay, in this chest chest, we get a medical herb in case we ever need it. We're gonna make we're gonna make want to make some room in our um, inventory though, because there's a specific item I'm gonna want to buy a lot of. Probably where a lot of my money's gonna go, but honestly, they're nice to have, especially in early areas. Okay, ball of fire, charge it up, and knock it down. There we go. Okay, I don't need to save here. <laughs> I need to erase that file so I don't like spoil anything. All right, let me check my map real quick. There we go. Let's kill these little brain creatures. Trying to get well. Eh, heck, I don't need it. Oh crap! All right. Dragon. Okay, I was kind of brave there with that dragon. I don't know what you're doing there. Come on, spider creature. Crap. White sword. Oh. And. I love when they just stay single file to try and hide their numbers. All it does, it makes them easier targets! Yes, I know. I could probably go up there and just start stabbing them a lot quicker, but I let you play it safe because, honestly, I'm a bit of a chicken. Check my map. Let's go down here first. All right. Oh, it's more little dragon creatures. Uh, yeah. I think we made a bit of a mistake there, so just head back up. Let's take a look at my map. Uh, yeah, we want to go up. Yeah, we want to go up. Yeah, I've played through this game many a times, and still, I do need a map for reference. It can be, it can be a little bit, a bit of a, um, a little bit of a little labyrinth here, but it's not too terrible. Not as bad as some of the other areas I've went through in video games. Holy cow. Some of them I try to forget. And my wife was trying to tell me, like, hey, Shadow, what, what my real name is that, Shadow. It's like, hey, Shadow, you know what game you should let's play? You should let's play Dragon Quest 2. You know that game. And I want to tell her, honey, I do know that game. And you're amazing. And I love you with all my heart. But that game still gives me nightmares from the road to Rhone. Eventually, I think I'll play it, though. I mean, it's not a terrible Dragon Quest game. It's just, it's got such a spike, difficulty spike. And like I said, the Road to Rhone is just so nightmarish. I will say the upgraded, like the mobile version, the version for Switch. Oh crap, I poison. See what happens when I talk too much about other games? I just I just lose my train of thought and I get poisoned. Anyway, let's just use our antidote and cure ourselves with poison. Hopefully one day we'll actually find a spell so we don't have to keep having um, consumables on hand. Oh, oh! Wow, I almost got here. I need to get my game up, man. Come on. Oh, there's Tom Mel! You're surprised? You're, you're gonna teach me how to teleport? Awesome! Yep, now we have the magic of teleport, and now we have a magic ring. Keep that magic ring. Do not use it unless you have to. Magic rings are some of the best items in that game. They restore your MP to full with one use. They are really, really good. But now that we got our teleport spell, let's put the sucker to use. First things first, head over to the Yonder Inn. Crash out for a little bit. All right. Now that we have our tornado bracelet and our teleport spell, uh, let's go check out the other side of Mount Saber real quick. See if we can find out what the heck happened to all the villagers from Leaf. I mean, somebody capture them. I mean, we'll just hop along Cassidy over here. All right. There we go. Man, fire swords are so good in here. I don't need to kill him. I guess I can kill him. I mean, I do need a little bit of HP. I mean, MP. MP. <laughs> I need a little bit of money. Come on, Shadow! Just get memorized from it. Mesmerized by this music. Okay, up there, that's where you go see Tom the first time. Is it down here? Do I have my rabbit boots? Yep. Hop along, hop along. Yeah, you want to go up here. I noticed I didn't go up here earlier, because if you would have, um, you just had a message saying, you know, hey, you're not strong enough to make it up here, or something like that. And honestly... I mean, I do, one thing I didn't like was, that just like, that's one of the first real invisible plot walls that I encountered as a gamer. 
I was like, man, that's such a cheap way to keep somebody from out of an area. I mean, you could say, like, there's a snowstorm or something else, but like, come on. All right, here's a new little area. Oh, food's great. Awesome. What are they serving? Oh, yeah, this is Nadir's Inn. Yeah, here's where we're going to want to buy some stuff. Medical herbs, that I don't want Fruits of power, I'm going to buy as many as I can get. Crap. Um, Fruits of Power, they do restore a little chunk of your MP. I forgot how much, but believe me, they are nice to have around because the next area, honestly, MP is essential. Hey, who's that? Oh, it's that guy that said he's going to strike it rich. Strange people put you in a cave. I wonder if that's what happened to all the villagers from Leaf. Huh. All right, well, let's go check it out because, I mean, if they're being held captive, i got to do something about this. Um, well, of course it's delicious. Da, 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 whatever. Strange people. How do you find strange? Well, let's go find out real quick. I hear someone talking. But let me stick out my ear. Whoa, they do look kind of strange. Guards. <gasps> you captured the people from the, the Dragonia Empire. Well, as you know, in JRPGs, empires are evil. So let's put these awful soldiers out of their freaking misery. Get over here. You captured my friends. They were nice to me. So I'm going to blow you away with my Sword of Wind. Um, Unfortunately, the Sword of Wind is the only weapon that Dragonian soldiers seem to be weak to. So yeah, just remember that. But what awaits us as we continue to explore Mount Saber? Can we finally locate our friends from the Village of Leaf and set them free from their horrible imprisonment? Find out next time on Let's Play Crystallis! This is your ever-lovable host, Shadowblade730. If you like my content, please like, share, subscribe, and maybe throw in a comment or two. And I will see you all next adventure. Take it easy.